Hi everyone, it's Irit with another process video and today I'm playing with a polka dot party collection from Dear Lizzie. Um, this collection came out I think in the summer and like all of Dear Lizzie's collection it's very feminine with pretty pinks and aquas and florals and lots of really fun embellishments. The background paper I chose here is from the polka dot party and I do have the 12 by 12 paper pad from that collection but if I can I prefer that my backgrounds are a little bit more sturdy. The 12 by 12 papers are a little thinner than the double sided pattern papers. I do use them sometimes but if I can then I prefer the double sided papers. And the rest of the papers I chose there are leftovers from another layout I made. And I just, for the other layout, I cut strips of uh, different pink patterns. So I had leftovers and I wanted to use them. The pattern paper I'm using already has some misting on it in white, but I thought it would be fun to add a little bit more and I'm using the Lindy Stamp Gang shimmer, shimmery sprays, the Starburst and the shade I used is called Cosmopolitan Pink and it's a really nice shimmery um, light pink and I thought it went well with the pattern papers that I chose for this layout and these are just um, papers from one is from Studio Calico, and the other is Echo Park, there's also a My Mind's Eye and a Polka Dot Party paper. And because I used them on a different layout, I knew that they worked well together. So, um, yeah, I, I thought it would look nice to use them again. And if you can see, I left the um, manufacturer strip at the bottom. Um, the It's a pink pattern so it really fit the rest of the color scheme of the layout so I just cut half an inch from the top of the page to get the 12 by 12 size. I matted the pink papers on some uh, vellum. The vellum is also from Dear Lizzie. It's uh, from the Neapolitan collection. Now I'm searching for a pattern paper to mat my photos on. So I'm going through the paper pad and this paper pad has 48 uh, different patterns. It's Every page is different. There are some uh, similar designs in different colors but there's only one paper from each design. And I do like this collection a lot but my problem with the paper pad is that the colors are not as crisp as the double-sided papers. Uh, the white is not white and that's actually my biggest problem because I really like when there's like patterns with white I want it to be bright if it's cream then okay but these are supposed to be white and especially if you want to combine double-sided papers with the paper pad then uh, it's maybe not a big deal but to my eye it's a bit disturbing and I don't like that and that was my rant about paper pads. Um, I also have, for example, the paper pad from the first uh, Maggie Holmes collection for Great Paper. And that is, for me, I would say less of a problem because there's no white in that collection. So it's kind of a bit more vintagey anyway. Uh, the colors are slightly different than the double-sided papers, but it doesn't bother me that much in that case. Uh, those blank um, label type of paper is also from the paper pad and that's something really nice in the polka dot party collection uh, there's this pattern paper that is just all blank um, labels so you can cut it up and uh, use it for journaling spots like I did here and also a place to put the title and my title for this page is Oh So Proud 
because my daughter was uh, walking there on a tree tree trunk and um, she was just so pleased with herself by the time she finished and she had this really cute expression on her face um, so I thought that was cute The letter stickers here are both from the polka dot party collection. Uh, they're really cute. There's this white uh, thicker is with black uh, polka dot and it's a really cute font and I've noticed that it goes uh, with many different layouts. I've used it quite a bit. So now I'm starting with the fun part, which was also the most uh, time-consuming in this layout uh, because the basic design kind of came together relatively fast, I would say, and it's choosing the embellishments. So I went through the uh, die-cut package from the polka dot party and I chose a couple of die-cuts, but at the end I only used one a floral die cut. Then I looked through the other products I had from this collection including the um, sticker sheet and I chose that lemon sticker but it doesn't make it to the final page. Then I went looking in my uh, Project Life mini kit. The Polka Dot Party collection also has a mini kit which is now uh, what American Craft does for um, a few of their collections, at least the Amy Tan and the Dear Lizzie ones. And um, these cards are really fun. Uh, you can use them for so many things as embellishments, as journaling spots, a place for um, the title. I sometimes build the background just with, um, just with these cards and I don't even look at my pattern papers uh, because it's so fast and easy and everything coordinates. I really wanted to use that floral and I also wanted to bring a bit yellow uh, to the page. It was very color coordinated and very pink and minty and it just needed another pop of color. So I chose that card. It had these uh, yellow and pink hearts and I put it behind the journaling spot there at the top of the page. And that floral I decided to put uh, over the title. Uh, on the top it was just too heavy and next to the photos it seemed like a good place for it. The mini uh, kit, the mini Project Life Kit had the some cards with the exact same floor, flower pattern, so I fussy cut, or my version of fussy cutting because I'm the worst fussy cutter. I don't know what it is with me and scissors. Uh, we haven't been friends since I was a child, and <laughs> I'm just really bad in cutting stuff out. I also don't like fussy cutting, but I'm also really bad at it. Uh, but I focused and I concentrated and I did my best and I somehow managed to make it work and cut that flower pattern out of the card and I uh, adhered it to the top of the page. Now as usual I'm going around the page with my white gel pen and I also added these cute resin yellow flowers um, these come in the package, it's also by Dear Lizzie, I think from the polka dot collection, and they sit, uh, the resin flowers sit on top of like a, a golden chipboard piece, a little circle. And at the beginning I put it with the gold part, um, but I just, it just didn't look good. It was too bulky and the gold was not connected to anything. So I took it apart. Um, it's glued with like a glue dot or something and it's very um, stubborn but uh, it can be separated and actually the gold chipper was not damaged and I can use that uh, on a different layout. And the uh, yellow resin flowers alone uh, looked really cute and added that extra pop of yellow color that I wanted. 
I also outlined the pink pattern papers with the white gel pen. Um, I just think it adds a little extra something, like these small details. Uh, I think they show at the end, and I think the layouts look better um, with these uh, details. And for some reason I decided the page needed more <laughs> of something. Um, I don't know, it bothered me that the photos had this uh, dark shirt that my husband was wearing, so I wanted something dark also outside of them. Um, I'm not sure it was necessary, and I think, especially now that I see it on video, I think the layout looks also good without it. Um, but I added some uh, dark stickers also from the polka dot uh, sticker sheet. And that's it for this layout. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!